Now, I've been at the Resin Graha Lama. This is Dr. Saeed Abdel Bay, Professor of General Surgery and Shams University. We're going to talk about the Graha on the MCQ and the Turkey's Maradi on the Endocrine. And this is video number 20. ده طبعا منظر لمتاستاسيس في السكال وبيقول لك في بالساتايل فاسكولار ماس موست بوبابلي ارايزنج فروم بابيلري ولا فليكولار ولا مدالري اوف كورس ات از كامينج فروم فليكولار كارسينوما جو فور بي ذيس از ا بيكتشر اوف فاين نيدل اسبيريشن سيتولوجي جايدد باي التر سونوغرافي وات از ا ستوري Which of the following can't be diagnosed by this procedure? Papillary carcinoma can be diagnosed. Follicular carcinoma, yes. This is the one which cannot be diagnosed by this procedure. Le. 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 هتبقى متاحة لو عملنا هيمي ثايرودكتومي أو توتال ثايرودكتومي. So in this slide go for B. السلايد ده ثايرويد سكان واضح فيه هوت نوديول على الناحية اليمين. Question what does this scan show? Toxic adenoma of the right loop. Yes. Go for A. الباقي هتلاقيه improper. Toxic adenoma of the left loop. Wrong. Cold nodule, totally wrong. Normal isotope uptake, totally wrong. So in this slide, go for A. The same guy with a mass in the skull. A patient with follicular thyroid carcinoma, which of the following should be used to treat this skull swelling? And I'm going to have a skull swelling there. نديله راديو ايودين ولا نستأصله جراحيا ولا ثيروكسين ولا اوبزرفيشن. Of course, follicular carcinoma, one of the differentiated carcinoma of the thyroid gland, واحد استجيب للعلاج ب radioactive iodine. Go for A, radioiodine. Okay. The axial cut في CT مبينة huge mass في الثيرويد infiltrating the strap muscle. وانفلتريتنج الاسوفاجس وفي سهم بيشاور على ستراكشر صغير كده والسؤال سي تي نيك اوف ذا بيشنت ويز ثايرويد مالجنسي وات ذا ذا ارو بوينت تو ذا ارو بوينت تو تراكيا جو فور سي اوكي ذا سيم سلايد And this time, CT neck of a patient with a thyroid malignancy, which of the following is the treatment of a choice for this patient? Such huge locally invading carcinoma usually is anaplastic carcinoma. We العلاج بتاعها إن أنت بتشيل الجزء المدل وبتعمل تراكيوستومي علشان العيان يتنفس لأن مش هيقدر يتنفس من such narrow trachea. فهنا ال ال options total serodectomy you cannot do it chemotherapy of no value radiotherapy of no value hemotherapy of no value palliative treatment is the possible management of this advanced locally advanced anaplastic thyroid carcinoma you remove the isthmus the part in front of the trachea. And you put tracheostomy tube. This lady with a solitary thyroid nodule or a dominant nodule of the thyroid gland, the story, this mass moves up with the glidation. Which of the following is the initial investigation? Let me able such a lady. Initial investigation is MRI or PET scan or ultrasonography or CT. Of course, the initial investigation of these choices is going to be ultrasonography. Go for C. The same lady with solitary thyroid nodule or a dominant nodule, which moves up with degradation. Which of the following is diagnostic this time? He is asking for diagnosis. I shan't show us a nodule. The, how to handle 
ثيرويد بروفايل ولا ثيرويد سكان ولا فاين نيدل اسبيريشن سيتولوجي ولا اكسجن بيوبسي اوف كورس جو فور فاين نيدل اسبيريشن سيتولوجي الاكسجن بيوبسي ممنوع في الثيرويد نيديول اوكي ذا سيم ليدي with the same nodule which moves up with deglutition. Which of the following is the initial preferred uh, investigation? Uh, fine needle, well, uh, scan, well, uh, thyroid function test, well, uh, next CT. Of this option, you have to start with thyroid function test. Let us set the thyroid, well, hyperthyroid, well, hypothyroid. Okay? قبل ما تنتقل ل اللي بعد كده تعمل التسونوغرافي تعمل فاين نيدل انما تتعامل معاها من غير ما تعرف الثيرويد بروفايل ستاتس بتاعتها مش منطقي سو ان ذيس سلايد جو فور سي ذيس بيكتشر بتتكلم على فاين نيدل اسبيشن اوف ذيس ليجن بروف ذا بريزنس اوف ليكولار نيوبلازم ويتش اوف ذا فولوينج از ذا بيست نيكست ستيب يعني واضح ان في نودول في الليفت لوب اوف ذا ثيرويد جلاند فاين نيدل اسبيريشن اوف ذيس نودول بتتكلم على فلوكلر نيوبليجيا النكست ستيب هتعمل لها انكليشن ممنوع منع بتا انكليشن في الثيرويد جلاند هتعمل لها سبتوتال ثيرويدكتومي هتشيل حته من اللوب ده وحته من اللوب ده نونسنس اكسيجنال بيوبسي انسيجنال بيوبسي Contraindicated في thyroid nodules لا يتبقى ليك غير left hemi-thyroidectomy left hemi-thyroidectomy the whole loop with the isthmus should be removed go for C thyroid scan مبينة مبينة cold nodule والسؤال بيقولك the likelihood of malignancy in this cold nodule is Which of these? خمسة في المية عشرة في المية خمسة عشر في المية عشرين في المية go for D. The likelihood of malignancy in a cold nodule is around twenty percent. Okay. Thyroid scan with a cold nodule. The question is which of the following doesn't correlate with this cold nodule? They all like cold nodule on thyroid scan is diagnostic of malignancy. This is wrong. لأن هما عشرين في المية بس بيبقوا malignant. يبقى ده not correlated. الباقي هتلاقيه correlated in the form of fine needle is the investigation of choice. Yes, the patient should undergo hemisyridectomy if fine needle is inconclusive, which is true. And direct laryngoscopy to be done in the preoperative period to assess mobility of the vocal cord, which is true. Okay. What is false is cold nodule on the thyroid is diagnostic of malignancy. Okay. Another thyroid scan and another hot nodule. The incidence of this nodule to be malignant. Now on a cold, can the incidence be seen for me? The hot incidence is five percent. Go for A. A picture of thyroid swelling extending on the chest. The kind of this kind of gutter is usually approached through neck or chest, or combined, or thoracoscopic. Of course, go for A. It is approached through the neck. Another scan showing a cold nodule. What is the story? Ultrasonography reported a solid nodule. The management of this solid cold nodule would be. In a clinician, well, hemithyroidectomy, well, eltroxin or radioiodine, go for B, hemithyroidectomy, okay? Another coronal picture of a CT showing a huge thyroid swelling extending into the chest and pushing the trachea to the opposite side. Which of the following is the most commonly used approach? Transthoracic, well, transthoracic via force intercostal space, well, Transsternal or transcervical, go for D. Transcervical. A lady with a staring look. What is the story? If this lady got tachycardia, hyperbarexia, hypertension in the post-operative period, the most likely cause will be how about you suffer like a thyrotoxic crisis, how thyroid storm, a layer ممكن تحدث عقب عمليات الغدة الدرقية أو أي عملية. 
فعيان عنده جريفس ديزيز ومش متحضر كويس يبقى الاجابه ان اديكويت كنترول اوف هايبر سايدس ذيس از ذا كوز اوف ذيس كرايسيس جو فور ايه في اورنج لايك سيمتريكال ثيكنينج اوف ذا ليج باي لاترالي ده على طول بنشخص بيه ايه بري تيبيال ميكس ديما السؤال ذيس سيك سكين كونديشن وين Accompanied with exophthalmus is called what? It is called pretibial myxedema. Go for D. The same lady uh, will wasp this numbating orange bill appearance of the skin. It is pretibial myxedema. It is seen fair. Gravis or myxedema or Cushing or Blumer disease. Blumer disease is a secondary thyrotoxicosis. Thyrotoxicosis on top of multinodal goit. طبعا البيكشر دي بتتشاف مع جريفس ديزيز اوكي جو فور ايه اليدي ويز هاشيموتو ذا كويشن از 50 يير اولد فيميل بريزنت ويز ذا فيو ثيرود سوالينج تي اس اتش ليفلز وير اليفيتد ويتش اوف ذا فولوينج از كوروليتد ويز ذيس كونديشن هاشيموتو بيبقى مع هايبر اكتيفيتي اوف كورس نوت العكس هايبر اكتيفيتي بالبيتيشن اوف كورس نوت العكس براديكارديا دايريا Of course not. It acts constipation. Hair loss, yes. Hashimoto beb ama hair loss go for D. The dawa da ismo logos iodine. Be stagdam fi. What does this medicine do? Be zawa del vascularity? Nonsense. The cures thyroid vascularity prior to surgery. Yes, go for B. A guy with a staring look and butterfly swelling on the neck. Which of the following is not correlated? Taman, this is Gravis disease. Elle bishmash ma Gravis. More common in males, yes. This is not correlated with this condition. And as a matter of fact, it is commoner in females. Yemkin benisbet tamania ila wahed au tisa ila wahed. الباقي هتلاقيه ماشي مع Gravis. اللي هو tremor, pre-tibial myxedema, intolerance to heat. انما this is not correlated this in الحقيقة ان هو الابوزيت جريفس is much more common in females بنسبة تبلغ 8 الى 1 او 9 الى 1 another guy with a staring look and gravis disease which of the following is not correlated with this condition cardiac failure can occur yes it can Hypertrophy and hyperplasia of thyroid gland is due to TSH receptor antibodies. Yes. Remission and exacerbation are infrequent. No. This is not correlated. As a matter of fact, in Graves' disease, remission and exacerbations are frequent. Are frequent. Manzar ganibili thyroid will infuse thyroid artery recurrent laryngeal nerve. During thyroidectomy, this artery is ligated at maximally away from the gland or close to the gland. Of course, go for B, close to the gland. Binorbot the branches, three branches, the gland shaksayan, ashan nehmil blood supply to the parathyroid glands. Okay? Yeb a bit rabbit close to the gland. Go for B. A lady underwent thyroidectomy and immediately bad the amalia a bit ha it nafahib bil manzar da wa gal ha dysnia wa shortness of breath wa bish adra taakhud nafas ha. The story two hours after thyroidectomy your patient rapidly becomes agitated and complains of increasing difficulty in breathing. Her pulse rate rises and central cyanosis is noticed in, on examination. Abtada tib a cyanose to respire to failure wa hatmoot. The most appropriate management in this case would be intranasal oxygen while passing endotracheal tube in the ward while removing suture from all layers in the ward and evacuation of hematoma while immediate transfer to OR to do tracheostomy. The answer is C. You have to remove sutures from all layers in the boat and evacuate the hematoma. Okay. A guy with ptosis, narrow pupil. This is Horner syndrome. The question is, which of the following is not present in Horner syndrome? Ptosis present. Anhydrosis, yes. Flushing, yes. Medriasis, no. This is not present in Horner syndrome. Go for D. 
Obstetrician hand. This hand feature following thyroid surgery occurs within the Taban hypocalcemia, hypoparathyroidism, Ahad Mudafat thyroid surgery, Betahdus for any Tawkit. Arbaushin Sa Bad Ramalaya, Yumin Talata Bad Ramalaya, Isbo Bad Ramalaya, Isboen Bad Ramalaya. The answer is B. Go for B. It occurs two to five days post operative. The same problem and the question is this problem most commonly occur after which of the following operations? Hemi or total or subtotal or near total? Of course, the incidence is with the total thyroidectomy. With the total thyroidectomy, for you to remove or remove the parathyroid glands. Okay, go for B. The same condition, a post thyroidectomy, is a patient developed dyspnea, or hand sign. How to do it? How to do it? Intravenous calcium, or calcium orally, or calcitonin, or vitamin D. Of course, we need 10 to 10 percent calcium gluconate slowly, intravenously. Go for A. Okay. The same lady with uh, bleeding post-operative and uh, tense skin and uh, dyspnea. In post-operative recovery after thyroid surgery, the patient developed respiratory distress. The dressing was removed and it was found to be slightly blood stained and this picture of tense swollen neck. Uh, first thing to be done, tracheostomy or like cricothyroidotomy while laryngoscopy and the intubation or like remove the stitch and take the patient uh, to operating theater. Remove the stitch immediately, evacuate hematoma and take the patient to OR. Okay. A lady on bed and the doctor is removing the stitch and evacuating a hematoma of the neck. What is the story? Your patient developed neck swelling after surgery. What is the most likely resulting complication? This neck swelling respiratory obstruction the recurrent major nerve injury or hypovolemia or hypocalcemia, of course, this neck hematoma will cause respiratory obstruction. Go for A. The same lady and the question is what is the common source of post operative bleeding in this lady? Taman, usually the common source is superior thyroid artery. Superior thyroid artery. Okay. A lady with Hashimoto and the question is, which of the following is correlated with this condition? Raised thyroid peroxidase antibodies? Yes, this is going to be raised in this lady. Okay. Pulse style enlargement, common in men, of course, Hashimoto common in women. No malignant risk. As a matter of fact, female malignant risk, it can develop lymphoma. Okay. The same Hashimoto condition and the question is what is of the following is correlated with this condition? Follicular destruction, yes. Taht al microscope by fee follicular destruction, increase in lymphocytes, yes. Oncocytic metablasia, yes. Orphan any eye nuclei, no. Orphan any eyed nuclei, but I'm good at the papillary carcinoma. So in this scenario, go for D. This is a hyoid bone and the question. This bone is closely related to which? To bronchogenic cyst, to a cystic hygroma, or a branchial cyst, or a thyroglossal cyst, fistula? Yes, go for D. This hyoid bone is related to thyroglossal cyst or fistula. This is thyroglossal cyst. What is the problem? Which of the following is not correct in this condition? It doesn't move with the condition. No, this is not correct. As a matter of fact, it moves. It moves. El bay hat la correct. It moves with protrusion of the tongue, which is true. Cyst trunk is a surgery, which is true. Most common site is subhyoid region, which is true. So in this scenario, go for A because A is not correct. Another thyroglossal cyst. The problem is which of the following is not correct in this condition. It is a frequent cause of anterior midline neck mass in the first decade of life. Yes, that's true. The cyst is located within 2 cm of the midline. Yes, that's true. Incision and the drainage is the treatment of choice. No. 
Incision and the drainage will cause acquired fistula. Okay. And what is the treatment of a choice is cyst trunk operation, which is very much different from incision and the drainage. Okay. So in this scenario, choose C. Another cytoglossus cyst and the question is, this swelling may occasionally give rise to which of the following carcinoma? Occasionally, it gives rise to papillary carcinoma. Go for A. Uh, let a view of the thyroid gland in few thyroid artery and recurrent laryngeal nerves. The question is, the structure in yellow is called recurrent laryngeal nerve. Go for B. A lady re, uh, uh, assuming this position to show goiter well, وبنحتاج البوزيشن دي في الناس اللي هم اوبيز شورت نيك عشان الجويتر يبان كويس فهو بيقول لك البوزيشن ده او التست ده اسمه ايه؟ اسمه كوخر ميثود ولا ليهي ولا كرايل ولا بيزيلو ات از كولد بيزيلو ميثود اوكي؟ سيست ويز ايبانكتم ذيس از ا سبيشال سيست ذيس تايب اوف سيست از لايند ويز Go for squamous epithelium. Go for B. A guy with this face is swelling. Is it plexiform neuroma, abscess, vasculitis, lymphangioma, or lipoma? Go for A. Plexiform neurofibroma. Okay. Thank you so much for watching this video. This is Dr. Said Abai, Professor of General Surgery and Champs University. Now kindly share, like, and subscribe.